All right, welcome back, folks. We are across the road. Farm's right there. You're looking at uh, sweet corn patch number three for this year. I've racked my brains about this countless nights for the uh, most convenient fair area to uh, work up a little bit more ground. Understand we're just dealing with this gully area here and we're going to talk about that. You need to you need to understand and I'm going to I'm going to footage this out. This is still going to be hay ground except for this area here. I'm going to take what I'm going to call three disc widths, which is going to be about 45 feet. <coughs> We're going to stop somewhere around here so I can still get my four rounds with the disc spine around the other hay ground. And we're going to head that way. Basically, so I can very uh, easily get in. Uh, 16 rows of sweet corn all the way down to there. or not but the reason you're seeing some of that red paint is when we had sufficient amount of snow on the ground for snow mobiling there's actually one hell of a snowmobile trail that comes through this area for obvious reasons I put that red paint on there because these white lines scare the shit out of me with snowmobiling white out or a bunch of snow or somebody's not paying attention um, I'll be real honest with you now I'm gonna make myself look like an idiot I don't give a shit I ended up end upping my general liability policy on the farm because of that thought right there a lot no but uh, that's the reason you see some of that red paint thing I need is a snow miller on about six, seven, eight beers. And I didn't even need to say that. It, that doesn't even need to be the case. Running into one of these, unfortunately losing his or her life and uh, the farm disappearing. That's all I'm going to say on that. I don't even want to talk about that uh, possibility. Okay. Like I said, uh, three disc widths, which is 15 feet times three, 45 feet. And my choice, I I'm sure that you can see it. I'm gonna take this gully. Obviously for moisture reasons, I hope that doesn't actually kick me in the ass. Uh, God only knows because I'm doing it, it might, but this is that's the decision I'm making. And I want 16 rows of corn roughly around in this area, all the way to where we were not long ago. Well, Ben, you dumb bastard. <laughs> you sure chop a lot of extra corn. Well, yeah. <coughs> Maybe not, probably not this year. Uh, a decision was made. It's something that I've been pondering. I've been pondering since last year, sweet corn sales. Uh, I'm not going to excuse myself for spitting. I'm sorry. Um, the sweet corn, sweet corn sales really took off. And I'm really honored and proud and happy and uh, to say that. Uh, it's fantastic. People count on it now. Uh, not, not just the sweet corn 
lot set up sales, but there's some stores now. Uh, there's some uh, very large private orders that come in. You know, people are having corn roasts and stuff like that. Or people that absolutely fill a deep freezer full of corn for the winter. What I'm trying to say is we basically came home with an empty pickup truck every sale date. Not to mention, uh, being I've got, you know, the legal license to do now, do so now, uh, we added into the mix beef products, uh, which is just uh, hamburger and those beef sticks. No, no fine cuts, none of that stuff. <coughs> it really took off. <clears throat> so... I'm not exactly very wise, but I think a smart man would look at that and think about that and maybe expand on it a little bit, and that's the decision that was made. I have secured a lot in Escanaba, the town of Escanaba, which is east of me by 13, 14 miles. Escanaba, I think, has a population somewhere around 20,000. I don't know. Um, it's around there. Um we actually get a lot of people that come to the Bark River area for our sweet corn from Escanaba. So it's, it's a no-brainer. Uh, I started working on this, uh, this lot site about a month ago. If you were to make me sit down and by memory of, you know, in town, Ben, from 1 to 10, uh, <clears throat> your lot sites, what would you pick? 1 being the best, 10 being, you know, whatever. I'll just deal with it. Well, I... <clears throat> Maybe I need to buy some lottery tickets, which I don't do. Um, I ended up getting that site. Um, <clears throat> nothing's free in this world, let me put it that way. But uh, nor should it be. For some of you as it is, it, it never will be for me, ever. And that's that's I'm okay with that. It's Sunday, so I'm not going to speak further on that matter. So we're expanding. Uh... Escanaba sweet corn sales will take place on Fridays. Fridays from 3 to 7 p.m. And of course, the old faithful Saturday sales in downtown beautiful Bark River will always be Saturday from noon to 4. It's going to take a hell of a lot more corn if this world becomes perfect. And, uh, not only corn, but, you know, beef sales as well, which uh, I've locked in, uh, I locked in the appropriate slaughter dates at the right time for that. I got lucky on that too. <laughs> Maybe I do need to get a lottery ticket after this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. it. What does scare me, is time and what today's world calls resources which is able-bodied people that can help employees I do not like the word resources I can't stand it but I said it anyway what scares me is time and help Saturdays are a done deal I made a, uh, a lock stock and barrel agreement with my nephew um, who I'm so proud of after last year. Um, he is uh, Saturday's main man. He is Saturday's lot manager. The reason I say that, and it's not Ben, is because, how do I want to say this? The farm comes first. Well, Ben, this is part of the farm. No, it's not. The cows are. The cattle and haymaking is the farm. Well, you need to understand we're dealing with the month of August and September here for sweet corn sales. <clears throat> I have to, by God, have a solid individual that can be there and is to manage and run things that's trustworthy and isn't going to put a $50 bill in his pocket. I said it, you know, all day if I have to be making hay, cutting hay, or doing something else. I've yet to have a couple conversations about an individual for Friday. Now, my nephew is going to be able to do both of them for the first couple weeks of sales. As he's a school kid still, 
that Friday availability is going to go bye bye. So I've I've got to work on that yet. Not to mention an extra hand. I always like to bring in an extra hand. Uh, you know, a, a younger fella. Uh, you know, at a at a at a common wage. <clears throat> I say that because like my nephew or anybody that's going to run like Friday sale is on a percentage, a percentage of the entire take. That's the world we're living in now, folks. Uh, I'm not going to expand on that. Those are the two things that scare me, though. Uh, time, available time, and uh, <laughs> what I'm just going to call resources. How the hell do you call people resources? Any, that's my thoughts on it. I, I hate that. <coughs> we'll see. Very excited about it. Uh, I made an announcement. Uh, we'll just say to the general public not long ago. A lot of, a lot of great reviews. Um, I secured all my seed. I've already got most of it. I'm lingering on a little bit. Um, and... Uh, now I'm just rambling. That's it. So it's going to go here. Trust me, I racked my brains, folks, on where else I could put it, but I, I don't have that answer. I like that it's here because it's right next to the house. Uh, I'm barely worried about people anymore because people are generally lazy. I said it, uh, but I can also do a little bit of self-control myself on, that made a lot of sense, on, of course, deer, however I can, anyway. Anyway, I'm trying it, you know. I did have a uh, suspicion of thought to uh, put it in with the cornfield going in across the highway this year. I just... I really, I just really shied away from that. I, I couldn't give you my answers why, but I did. So we're gonna rip this ground up. I'm gonna take about three, four swipes with the disc on this uh, at a, an appropriate time. And then of course the moldboard plow is gonna come out and uh, be prolifically done. Yeah, 40 foot, but yeah, about 45 foot wide and and should work and then I'll have I I, I no I, I will not have any concerns with uh, product availability the patches at the house I'm not putting in vegetables this year I don't have the heart to do it I ended up tilling in more vegetables than I pick and sold, uh, which broke my heart. And those vegetables aren't cheap. So the vegetable patch, if you can recall, is actually going to be sweet corn as well. It's not like it's a lot of land or anything. It's just a garden patch. That's getting sweet corn. Uh, yeah, the farm's going to get planted first. This will be second. And then, of course, you know, I have the fenced-in area down the road will be third. There'll be three stages of planting. Uh, two and a half. The first round will be two and a half weeks apart. The, the, the third one, the second and third will be three weeks apart. I'll be tapping into this stuff. This is the fourth crop alfalfa. Once the sorghum's all gone, I've got 30 to 33 days worth of sorghum at two bales a day. And then I'm gonna have to tap into this alfalfa. We keep talking a time here. Now we're starting to blink an eye towards grazing season, which of course is always the third week of May for us. Always, always. Doesn't matter what the ground looks like the first week of May. It doesn't matter. The third week of May is always grazing. That means I'm going to have a pile of feed. 
Uh, I've already spoken to a large volume buyer, a very large, large, one of the UP's largest dairies. In fact, I think they are the biggest. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. <coughs> they have interest. I'm going to see how the rest of the next two months go or better. And my thoughts and feelings on this year's harvest, which uh, I know you can't judge on the next two months, but uh, I'm going to see where my thoughts and feelings are on the matter on whether I'm saving feed for this coming fall or there's a sellable product here. I don't know. There's options. I know at least that's, that's nice. That's it, folks. That's the announcement. Uh, second sweet corn sales site in Escanaba this year. It should go pretty good. You know, this has become a novelty. Uh, it used to be, let's just talk about the town of Escanaba. There used to be three to four um, vegetable stands. Well, there's not anymore. There is a farmer's market. Now, I mean no disrespect here whatsoever. And I can't barely give you my rhyme or reason for this. I will not be a part of the farmer's market. I just don't care to be. I know the farmer's market isn't on a Friday, I can tell you that. Maybe it's because I like doing my own thing. I say it respectfully. I have no problem with other people. <laughs> well, as as I get older, that changes a little bit. Um, I just, I don't care to be a part of it. So I'm doing my own thing on my own time and my own dime. Literally my own dime. I got thoughts for that too, but it's Sunday, so I'm not going to open up my big mouth. And uh, that's the route that we're going. I got to get something done here. We'll talk to you sooner or later.